Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our third quarterfinal match of the evening between Conrado Moscoso and Alan Atera. Both of these gentlemen are ready to go here. Uh, head referee is going to be Alex Carbona. He's going in for the coin flip. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media throughout this match. It's uh, going to be a good one. And our last quarterfinal match of the evening following this one will be Andre Parrilla versus Adam Mania, both uh, <laughs> doubles partners here. And look at the stats right there. Number four versus number five, according to Seed. So we'll see how this goes. Conrado Moscoso will start us off with the serve. Thanks, everybody. And let us know what you're thinking, who in the chat box. Who do you think the winner is going to be at this event? So finally, uh, two quarterfinals have been to tiebreaker. Let's see how this goes. Most close, of course, the current number one ranked player in the IRT. Second time in his career he's reached that plateau. Moscoso with the drive serve. It's a double bounce. It's a good pass by Natera. That's an ace serve by Natera. Clean serve to the right. Wow. I like how he hid the ball with his body and just, you know, technically perfect shot. Atera just blasting that one to the back end of Moscoso. 2-0. by Moscoso. Three points. Good start for Natera. And we always see Moscoso making some unforced errors and early on in the matches. Not something that he's a stranger to. To skip by Natera. Tries to go for that Front wall on the right side. <laughs> Down the line winner. Natera thought that that was a short serve. He's looking to see if he can appeal, but uh, no, his cornerman says no. Good pickup by Moscoso. Oh, he tried to cut that one off. It got a bit, a bit of a slice. A little too much right there to make that work. Three serving one.
like that. A really good start here. Scores once more. Four serving one. I like the seriousness right now of the game of Natalia. It seems that he's all business. It's a good shot. Moscoso also with that side out. Still trailing by three here. Still early in game one. So far, the only upset in quarterfinals has been Acuna over Montoya. Good wide angle pass. Two serving four. Short. That's a skip by Natera. It's just a couple steps ahead. Couple of steps ahead, and uh, short again. with another unforced error. Now tied at four. So that's three points in a row from Moscoso. He's been capitalizing very well, being very strategic and forcing Natera in uncomfortable positions. Again, another good serve now. Moscoso leading for the first time in this match, five to four. Like those change ups that he does, those wrap around serves, those jams. Great pickup, Natera. Also finds a way to kill that shot. It's just amazing play. I love Natera. Even though he was on the run while receiving that serve, he manages to adjust and come back to keep it in play. And not just anyone can adjust that quickly with a change of direction just like that. Great stuff. Moscoso. Oh, what a great serve to the right ace serve. Interesting choice for Moscoso going for that forehand of Natera. Seven points in a row for Moscoso. Cross yeah. court winner.
So time out requested by Alan Atera, players to take a one minute break and we will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for joining us and tuning in. Of course, Jim Schlicker, longtime racquetball enthusiast from Batavia, Illinois, is the chief operating officer of Papa Nicholas Coffee and a longtime sponsor of both the LPRT and IRT and the Chicagoland area. For those of you who just haven't tried one of the more than different 50 coffee blends of Papa Nicholas Coffee, we encourage you to do so. Our competitors are enjoying Papa Nicholas Coffee all weekend as the coffee bar in the glass court lounge is fully stocked from early morning until late night. Jim and Papa Nicholas want everyone to ask for Papa Nicholas coffee at their local grocers, Jewel Osco, or go online to order directly at papanicholas.com to have it shipped directly to your home. All Papa Nicholas coffee is roasted at their plant in Batavia, Illinois, and is guaranteed to be the freshest available. So thank you very much for being the top sponsor of this event. And as we head back into this timeout call by the referee, Natera is trailing 4-8. to eight. He's right now with a four-point deficit and a seven-point run. <laughs> Sir from Moscoso. Ace serve. Wow. Clean serve to the right. That was next to the right wall. Amazing stuff. Great wide angle. Natera. Good ball handling right there by Moscoso. So if you guys go to the pocketpolitics.com website, you can get 50% off all their products. Use code RACKETBALL50. RACKETBALL50 to get 50% off Papa Nicholas Coffee. Wow, that's a good deal. Make sure to check that out.
line. Sidewall front will kill for Natera. We're still at four, serving nine. So that seven, that eight point run, sorry, from Moscoso is still in play. And see for the call for the referee. I got to tell you, from this angle, it seemed like it wasn't avoidable because he was in his swing. It's not a bad call. Play moves forward. Natera, he breaks that eight point spell casted by Conrado Moscoso, 5-9 now. They have it, Conrado Moscoso retaking the serve. And it just seems that they're just playing very cerebral, very strategic. And uh, Natera taking his time right now. So Natera still in this right now, still with a four point deficit, but if so far it's an eight one run from Moscosa to Natera. Have to wait and see. Five serving nine. Moscoso still has his timeout. Natera took his. It's a good side out, great cross court winner. Great pickup by Moscoso, way to keep it alive. Anatera. What does the referee call? And it's, it's called a skip. Oh no, it's a good shot. Ref call good. 
I'm not seeing an appeal, though. Wow. Interesting play. Ten serving five. Wow. And the crowd, the crowd went silent a little bit just to see what happened because it was a close call, I understand, but be that as it may, Moscoso comes out on top here. Screen serve. Point. Moscoso getting slowly away from Natera. 11 serving 5. You can see the evolution of Alan Natera's game has gone up from the past two years. I believe that last year when he was out of the top 8 he played the first three or four tournaments of the year he played also in the open division and he won the open division like three or four times in a row it was finally time for him to migrate out of that open division to go to pro and he won last year in this same tournament the open division in singles Men's pro doubles back in Minneapolis and they're in a good pace right now to repeat their pass to the semifinals tomorrow which is going to be in the morning but they will meet each other next Moscoso good pick up Moscoso Oh, what a great rally so far. I love the lateral movement of both of these gentlemen. Moscoso, of course, always giving us a show. Look at that. Wow. Natera. With plenty of time to make that decision and go for that shot at the end. I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you that use code Racquetball50. Go to PapaNicholasCoffee.com. Use that code and get 50% off your entire order. That is such a great deal. Make sure you go online and take advantage of that. Just a bit of advice. Try the Kona Brew or try the breakfast blend. Of course, Papa Nicholas, title sponsor here. Of course, he was also a sponsor at uh, Minnesota two weeks ago. Good pick up by Natera. Moscoso missing that shot. Natera scoring point number six. Love the level of intensity these two bring to the table. It's just never a dull moment here. They're both diving, good reach. So here's the thing, though. They have similar physical traits. They're both tall. They're thin. They have good reach, good advantage. So passing them really is not 
uh, you know, a high percentage option. It's more of a kill shot, if you will, if that sounds logical enough. If, you know, the highest percentage shot is the lowest percentage shot of success. So a screen serve. Oh, not that I'm blasting that one. Wow. Sort of an in-your-face shot. I love how physical they get. And, of course, you know, they're not waiting for the referee to give them a free point. They're playing through, and I love that. Very intense. Theta trying to go for that back wall and can't make it. Wow, what a great rally. Look at this replay. Both of them are putting so much intensity in their bodies through such a great ordeal. Not that I hit the back wall, but it clipped the side wall so the ball didn't make it. 13-6. Great shot down the line, Moscoso, what a winner. You know, it seems that Natera got stuck a little bit there behind Moscoso with his racket, but that's not Moscoso's fault. So game point number one. That's settling in. Also want to thank our host, uh, owner Joe DeArmas, and the Glass Court president, Dan Jasker, have ensured that the Glass Court Swimming Fitness is the premier location for racquetball in Illinois in the Midwest. The club, with eight courts, including the internationally known Glass Court Stadium, has hosted professional events for over 35 years. In addition to racquetball, Glass Court Swimming Fitness has both indoor and outdoor pool, indoor gymnasium, and a wide range of cardiovascular and weight training equipment. Moscoso. Down the line winner, Moscoso gets game one, 15-6. Players to take a two-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvel. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility, and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought-after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. 
KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marble. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time in is called as Moscoso took game one, 15-6 versus Alan Natera. Such a great display. Also want to thank Mr. Robert Dreger as he's a regular tournament player in the Chicago area and has extended his support to the IRT and the Shamrock Shootout in a significant way. A busy lawyer, his firm, Dreger Law, has been a vigilant bodyguard for its clients throughout Chicago and Northern Illinois for over 30 years, providing strategic legal advice and counsel. When he's not competing this weekend and he played in the pro on Thursday night, you will find him learning from the pros during their matches. I want to thank Mr. Robert Dreger from Dreger Law. Make sure to check him out online. Zero serving zero, Moscoso. Skip by Alan Natera. Warning point number one for Moscoso. Love that intensity from Mateo. Even though that shot was success successful as he thought it would be, the determination that he had to bring it to home was great. But Moscoso was right there. Good court position. 2-0. Side out, Natera. Very carefully think about what he's going to do next. Of course, a very enthusiastic and successful racquetball coach for juniors in Chihuahua. Works with kids a lot. <laughs> Certainly returned his dues to the young racquetball community of his club.
just to replay. Shot by Moscoso. Front court got ahead of Natera by a couple steps. Serve from Moscoso. A good shot by Natera. Moscoso still leading by three. There's an appeal. Moscoso loses it. He thought he had that shot before the double bounce, but the sideline judges disagree. Loses one appeal. Natera to the serve. Moscoso gets that one immediately back. Wow, what an excellent shot by Moscoso. So that died in the left corner. Wow. Very few athletes can accomplish those sort of shots. Atera. Great pinch to the right corner. Also with that mistake. And he gets on the board finally, one serving four. What a great wraparound serve. Wow, what an ace by Natera. Quite the statement.
wide angle shot. Great stuff by Natera. These last two points have been really strategic. And making that unforced error. Yet he's one point behind Moscoso, so not bad so far for Natera in game two. Good shot. Moscoso back on the board here, 5-3. Gonna try to move Natera around a little bit more. Uh, maybe a bit of fatigue and uh, stress are wearing in. Almost close, you can feel it. Backhanded shot by Moscoso to the left. A little bit of frustration there by Natera. I want to thank this opportunity to thank everybody watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Also, we're pleased to be working with the DuPage Sports Commission to ensure that the tournament is publicized in local community and that we have a great hotel and dining options available for our competitors and their guests. Make sure to check them out at DuPage Sports Commission. Also want to thank Cheryl Kirk and Kit Lawson, Dovetail by Design, Mike Kinkin, Tyler Medical Services, George Pappas, also, racquetball sponsors such as Headpin Racket Sports, Gearbox, and Pro Kenex. Great cross court. Side out. Also want to thank our bronze sponsors, uh, Taco Burrito King, that's Danny Ortega, Response Graphics and Embroidery, that's uh, Lynn and Kevin Yazel, AHI Contractors, Carlos Tegel, F Fellows Roofing, Willie Fellows, Little Debbie, that's Jana and Joe Eminger. Also Zurich Construction, Mr. Francisco Fajardo, Jose Arteaga, Alok Meta, Ray Meissner, and John Thorson. Thank you for your contribution and support of the 39th Annual Popping This is Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Great replay that we have right there to enjoy that last bit of action. This has become a more cerebral and strategic match than honestly I've anticipated. I'm seeing, even though that Conrado you know, had a compelling win on the game number one and game two, it's more strategic and I like that, the adjustments made by Elena Tena. Make sure to use code RACKETBALL50. Go online to PapaNicholasCoffee.com. Make sure to use that code and get 50% off your entire order. Then, uh, to the serve. Also, siding out again.
Uh, Dada has been answering very well. He's responding more than he's just reacting. It's a skip by Natera. Also, very carefully thinking about how he's going to answer to that offense. He got a point right now in that sequence. Seven to four. But Natera right now is in control in the box. It's a replay. They're getting more physical as this match progresses. What a great cutoff there in that C serve for Moscoso to go for the forehand and give himself that opportunity to shoot. Also had that one, but it was short. Very deceitful position. Great pickup. Great pickup again. Wow, <laughs> what a rally so far. And what a way to end, and Moscoso just kills it in the right corner. Great stuff. What a great turnaround so far. Of course, the RIT wants to remind you that we will be in Costa Rica in the month of June. The Costa Rican Open will be at the Country Club where Andres Acuna is his hometown. You gotta love it, beautiful country in Costa Rica. 
make a vacation out of that one. So awesome. Moscoso back to the serve, 8-4, game two. Timeout taken by Alan Natera. Players will take a one minute break. We will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels, made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here from the 39th Annual Papa Nicholas Shamrock Shootout. Time was, was requested by Alan Natera. Scan that QR code on your screen and make sure you help Team USA represent in Guatemala. Some of these players, such as Conrado Moscoso, for example, he will be at that tournament in Guatemala City for the IRF Pan American Championships. Of course, Team USA roster includes Jake and Sam Bredenbeck, Charlie Pratt, Michelle Key, Lexi York, and Naomi Ross. Make sure to support them if you can. Any donation is very well received by USAR. I like the timeout that Natera took because it's not too late. It's not too early. I think it's appropriate. He's been stuck there for a little while. Let's see if he uh, sort of ice the kicker, if you will, and get back in this. Oh, wow, what a shot by Natera. I think even Moscoso was a little impressed. So good time off for him so far. Let's see if he can produce, if he can capitalize. Moscoso makes it look so easy to tree that side out. Still on top. Good wraparound serve by Moscoso. Offers this opportunity for a ninth point. Wow, <laughs> that was short.
Second serve. Referee's not stopping this one. Moscoso. And Moscoso missing a golden opportunity right there to make that shot. And it's just a little bit frustrating for Moscoso and a bit of a break there for uh, Natera who wanted a replay. He held up, but the referee did not agree. Remember to use racquetball code racquetball50 papanicoscoffee.com to make sure you get 50% off your entire order that is so cool make sure to check them out online That is a good serve, ace by Natera. Not the first time he's done that serve, and it's just so strategic. Short. <laughs> Moscoso fires that one to the right. Good diving get there by Natera. Down the line winner. Moscoso not enough to get there on time. Close again, grits that out. He's been more defensive than offensive during this match so far. Also, kill shot, right corner. Point number 10.
set up for Natera. Down the line. What a good side out. Tera, not enough. Double bounce. Ten serving five. Another unforced error, but Matera is awarded point number six. Comes with a cost. a good serve by Natera. Side out by Conrado.
Good shot by Moscoso, point number 11. That's been the story so far throughout this match. We're almost an hour and 10 minutes in, and they're not scoring many points. It's taking them too long to score points. They're not being offensive. They're being offensive whether they're on defense, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't change the scoreboard. They're taking too long and a lot of diving. I'm surprised that the referee has not called them in for changing the shirt. Both of them are taking risks, but when they are on defense, not when they're serving. <laughs> Moscoso again with another unforced error. That's been the story so far. More unforced errors by both of them than points they're not been as accurate they're being both very erratic <laughs> great effort by Natera but not enough Moscoso upset with himself he knows he's not playing his best he's not playing like the number one player right now in the IRT Serving six. Moscoso. I can't wait to hear what the referee says. That's unavoidable. I mean, I have to agree. They didn't make much effort to move out of each other's way, to be honest. Yeah. They were, they were standing too close against each other. They were just moving around each other, not away from each other. Whoever would have taken a swing of that shot would have clipped the other one. So I think it's a good call. Moscoso, 11-6. Six serving 11. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, Moscoso just blasting that one on the right. And he does that when he's on defense. But we, he's been on offense. He doesn't make those shots. A lot of unforced errors. Timeout taken by Conrado Moscoso. Players to take a one-minute break. We will, too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time in. Both of these men have taken their timeouts respectively. Now we're in it to the end of game two at least. Moscoso four points away from victory. Natera still on the hunt. I like this timeout from Conrado Moscoso. I So far, so good for Natera. Let's see if he can capitalize on this side out that he got out of that uh, timeout. He's being signaled as a short serve. So a point out of an avoidable there for Natera. Couldn't take a swing because Moscoso was just behind him. I'd agree with that call. Point number eight for Natera. Power shot there by Natera. Point number nine.
That's a skip by Moscoso. So Natera has been capitalizing those last four points on behalf of Moscoso's mistakes. I believe it was a racket change or broken racket. So equipment timeout. Just 30 seconds. Honrado stepping back in here. Yeah, to no surprise, a broken racket. Down the line winner for Moscoso. He's now one point ahead of Natera. We're deep in game two here. It's a good pass by Moscoso, Tell you, I can't imagine how exhausted these two players will be when they get out of this quarter. And the adrenaline sets down. Both of them are still live in the doubles semifinal that's going on tomorrow morning. A good pickup by Moscoso. It's double bounce. That's a point, an avoidable call. Moscoso not happy about that one. He's just really nowhere to move, to be honest. He's still one point ahead of Natera.
So Honrado was not awarded that point. Was not awarded that point. Let's take a look at the replay right now. Moscoso is asking the referee, what if I had it shot down the line? Would I not have hit him? So there's an appeal. And Moscoso gets the call in his favor. It's a good use of an appeal for Moscoso. 12 serving 11. Twelve serving eleven. It's a good wide angle pass there by Moscoso. Thirteen serving eleven. So Alan Ater was ordered by the referee to change his shirt. Make sure to scan that QR code. Help support Team USA represent in Guatemala at the IRF Pan American Cup. Moscoso, I love Nick. Great wide angle pass. Moscoso with match point number one. Fourteen serving eleven for the match. Moscoso. I love Nick. And there you have it, folks. Match is over. Conrado Moscoso takes this one. 15-6, 15-12, in about an hour and thirty minutes. Such a strategic match. Congratulations to the winner who advances to the semifinals tomorrow. We'll be back with winner interview after this.
I'm here with the winner of this quarterfinal match, Conrado Moscoso. Conrado, first off, congratulations. What an Ironman match. It took about an hour and 20 minutes and two games. I mean, what was going on in there? No, uh, first of all, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for, for watching me, uh, for supporting me. And uh, congrats, Alan. He's a great player. Uh, great for the great uh, match. But I'm so tired for the uh, maybe one hour, one hour for the, for the match. But uh, just the plan is a focus. I uh, need a more and more and more fast. Unless he's very, very strong and very fast. But it's the plan. Yeah, and I'm so happy for the past of semifinals. Oh, y Conrado, pues todavía estás vivo también en dobles. <laughs> Entonces mañana juegas dobles en la mañana y la semifinal en la tarde. Ahora sí que es momento de descansar. Este, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo te sientes para toda la gente que está viéndonos ahí en, en, en Sudamérica? No, pues primero quiero eh, agradecer por siempre por verme. Eh, les mando sobre todo un saludo a toda mi familia. Una persona muy especial que me está viendo igual allá. Eh, sobre todo feliz por haber pasado a la final. Eh, nos queda todavía muchísimo por recorrer. Mañana tenemos dos partidos muy importantes. Eh, tanto en la semifinal como en las dobles como en las singles. Y obviamente estamos con una meta muy grande y sobre todo bien ilusionados de poder pasar. Y bueno, como te decía, eh, feliz de haber pasado a la semifinal de las categorías. Bueno, Conrado, muchas felicidades. ¿Alguien quiere saludar y mandar saludos y agradecer? No, sobre todo a mi familia. Uh, muchísimas gracias por verme. A toda la gente que está apoyándome eh, en Bolivia. Un gran saludo a mi familia también, que está también en Virginia. Julio Céspedes, toda mi familia, una persona muy especial que también me está viendo desde Sucre. Le mando un gran saludo y pues sobre todo a Dios y a mis sponsors que me están apoyando. Gracias. Gracias Conrado, pues felicidad nuevamente por este excelente y gran triunfo para que pases a la semifinal de la mañana de singles y en de dobles y a continuación André Parrilla, Adam Manilla aquí en IRT Live.